Hello everyone, welcome to the foreign farming in the Philippines. We've the our egg production has been down pretty low as of late. We were getting over 30 eggs a day there for a while, but a lot of the hens are in their first molt. And these Kabir are a little are different than the Rhode Island Reds and Oyster Lorps and Barred Rocks and just about every other kind of breed that I'm really familiar with. So those breeds, when they come out of their molt, let me get this door open with one hand. Their molt doesn't really last that long. Uh, I was carrying that over here, that's why I was starting to pant a little bit. I'm going to spread this out here because it's a little, well it's just a little nasty up underneath here because this is kind of a low spot. So I'm going to spread these rice holes out underneath right here. That's one of the little eggs right there. This is a new little hen. There's a egg also there. That started laying. It's all dirty. It's all dirty? Yeah, dirty. That's two. Anyway, I'm going to spread this out here so it's uh, not quite so messy up underneath here. When the chicken, when the hens in particular come around here and they they walk through this, they scratch in it, whatever, it gets their feet dirty and it gets the eggs dirty. They'll hop up in the in the laying area and it keeps their eggs dirty and I, I don't like to wash the eggs before I incubate them. Just incubate clean eggs. And it's hard to do. I, I said we were getting about 30 eggs a day and now we're getting between 12 and 16. So what few eggs that we are getting, I want to make sure they're mostly all clean. Yeah. <laughs> and we might bring a couple more sacks over here too. I want this built up so that this is a high spot. But we've got another sack here. And we're going to put this one. Oh, need more? Yeah, bring one more. Two, bring two more, and we'll put them both over there. But this one, this one, Jen, bring this one over here. I wanna, I wanna put this in here right now, just to, uh, yeah, just basically fill them up. I'm gonna put rice holes in here, in the actual laying boxes, pretty deep. Uh, we are getting a few cracked eggs, um, as I think as I've shown people, yeah. this doesn't need to be in here. Here, I'll let you hold the camera. These are very tall. Okay. I'm doing this to cushion the fall of the eggs a bit because if the hens do stand up, they crouch when they lay their egg. And it's falling a couple inches usually. And if that couple inches is down onto a hard piece of bamboo, then the egg will break. It'll put a little crack in it. Now they will get up here and play around in this a little bit, but hopefully they won't treat it as food. And then I'm going to put this in all the rest of these here as well. So the show this right here, Jim. You can see right here, this is a little nest that they've made right here. 
This is their little nest. So if the egg falls and hits this here, that's hard bamboo and it'll break the egg. Now there's a little bit still in the bottom of that one, a little bit of cushion, and not much in this one, and almost none in that one. So I'm putting these rice holes in here to add a bit of padding. Uh, every other day, about almost every day, every other day, we're getting a broken egg. Yes. Yeah. So because our egg production is down. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure the eggs that we do have are not broken and are clean. going to take another half sack, Jen. Yeah. Well, here's the net we needed to catch up down here. Yeah, I think they use it that there. It does have to have a bit of lemongrass in it. This has lemongrass in them now. Okay. Um, it has to have that in there or else the rice will just fall right through. So... so I'm going to get those last two sacks over there, fill these in, and we'll call it good. So we've got all the rice holes in there that I'm going to put in. I uh, thought they put this faucet in here. So we're running this faucet from the fattening pen over to here. So now we have water here. Pretty spiffy. And we went ahead and put another sack and a half of rice holes here. They're picking the last few little bits of rice out of it. There is still rice left in this, not much, but there, there is rice in there. And whatever rice is in there, they'll definitely get out of it. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.